Yo, what up? My name is Brad Man. Today we're gonna to be doing a video on how to hold stairs properly in Verdansk. After this video, you should be able to walk into a building and come out alive. So let's get it. Okay, so to start this video off, uh, I'm sorry if there's a bunch of noise in the background. I'm doing this in Plunder, so hopefully nobody starts blasting me. I've already had to kill somebody. So um, I'm going to start this off in this building. Of course, there are stairs all over the map, so every situation is going to be a little different. I actually have a bounty on me, so maybe I'll be able to test something uh, here in a little bit when somebody walks in this house. But basically, if, if you see stairs like this, which most stairs will go up, or maybe they'll go up two floors at once or three floors, um... For stairs that go up one floor and then there's a floor like that cuts off, you could lay down right here and create an off angle. Uh, holding the stairs is all about creating off angles because when you're walking up the stairs, you can't afford to look at somebody on the ground. You're going to have to turn around and, and look backwards like this, which is how most people walk up the stairs because you want to clear this corner over here. But, you know, so if, if you walk up the stairs backwards, you oh, I hold up someone's in the building. Okay, well, we've just had a perfect representation of somebody walking up the stairs backwards and looking that way, holding the off angle here got me an easy kill. Of course, this is plunder, so it doesn't really matter too much. But also another off angle is once, if, if you can't hold this angle right here and hold the stairs, you could also come around and hold the bottom of these stairs. It, it could seem weird um, holding the bottom because they're going to run around and then you'd think that they'd see you, but they're going to be running around and looking up. Like, you know, why would somebody be on the ground here? They're most likely going to be up here. If you, if you were to come around this angle and look at the ground you'd be shot from above so that's why you know so normally you're gonna walk backwards and and, and check like this and you're not gonna see somebody here and you could just come up and, and shoot them so let's hop into another stair spot and try to get you guys some knowledge so when looking for another building to cover um i've walked in this one and so this one uh it kind of falls into the same category as the other building that we've covered uh you could lay down here and then when somebody walks up you shoot them just like that you could also do the exact same thing where you're doing here because they'll be looking up here but once you get to the top i did want to cover laying down at the top of the building is not going to help you people are already going to be looking at you and so laying down at the top of the stairs is not something you want to do you you have to choose either below the top or at the bottom or however many stairs you can't do the top though in most in most situations especially not this one because if you're laying down here the the point is to take that off angle and this is not an off angle they're going to come up and they're going to be looking right at you anyway so let's hop into another building okay so another set of stairs that i wanted to cover are stairs like these on twins there are tons of them so when somebody's running up they're most likely going to lose focus of trying to cover every corner while they're running up and they're going to just start going on autopilot and, and going around 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 until they get to the top so what you could do is you could go up the stairs and you could take off angles again um you want to try to monopolize on the off angles so once somebody gets around here they're probably going to stop watching like every corner and they're just going to keep running up so angles like laying down right here i've used it countless times on stream gotten tons of kills with it where people run around they're not even paying attention and then you crouch up or, or you stand up rather and you just shoot them in the face it's it's so simple and it works every time um when you hear multiple people coming up the stairs you got to kind of um prioritize you know when you down somebody you're gonna want to go for the full but sometimes that can get you killed so you got to prioritize um but generally um if you're playing in duos and you, you and a teammate are on a team and your teammate takes out one you take out one everyone's doing their thing um you really don't really have to worry about that but again off angles like that laying at the bottom you could even choose off angles like this but the problem is when people are on autopilot they're kind of going to be looking at the ground they're not really going to be taking angles and, and and backing up the stairs because you know there's tons of flights of stairs they have to cover if they were to do this up every stair it would take so long so if you do choose this one you're going to have to stand up before they even come up the stairs so you're gonna have to use your audio and then kind of pre-fire a little bit and then you could get an easy kill there so let's hop into some clip review and i'll show you some videos of this actually working all right, so I have a clip to show of uh, me in one of the many apartment buildings around the map where there's tons of floors and the, the stairs are very close together and you have to wrap kind of like a spiral. Um, and in this building, I kill four people and I do it all on the stairs. So we're going to go ahead and show this here. I, currently, to give you some background, I'm walking up the stairs while ADSing, so it's pretty fast and I'm also, they can't hear my footsteps. Um, and then a team runs down below me and then I use the stairs, kill them, and then I flank to the other stairs and kill the other team. So we'll go ahead and watch the clip. Um, so I use my daddy, I start running up. And then I hear some people running in below me. Let me turn this up a little. People coming in below me. And so I lay down at this off angle. Um, I'm not 
pushing myself against the stairs because I, I know that there's multiple. I hear multiple sets of footsteps, so I'm not going to overcommit for one kill, and I'm going to try to play for both here. Um, so... I see his gun come around the corner and his flashlight, so I'm able to pre-fire this. I'm shooting way before he even knows that there's a person here. Um, given I do have Daddy on, like, there's no way he'd know that I was here. So this is going to be an easy kill. I go for the full quickly, and then I listen for his teammate. His teammate's right below me. I play the off angle, and he comes up looking up at the stairs, and I'm already behind him. Um, this is just a free way to get kills, and every time you're going to catch people lacking, and just their back is going to be facing towards you. It's going to be that simple. Um, given in this situation, I do have Deddy and some things that make it a little bit easier for me, but granted, I did kill him faster with Deddy, but I would have killed him anyway without it. So um, we'll go ahead and switch. Um, after this part, I flank over to the other stairs. Like that today. <laughs> we flank over to the other stairs. I have another daddy. Daddy's just, it, it's way too abundant right now. I feel like they increase the rates when they uh, nerf stopping power. So I run up here, uh, I peek this door, and then they really overcommit once I come out. I don't know I don't know why they do this. Maybe they thought that the proximity almost killed me. Um, so they come out. I run back to the stairs because I know that I could play this cover, and then they just start rushing out. And generally, people aren't really going to do this, but it is good um that you do practice running back to the stairs because if they do come out you know you've got free kills um but generally it does not happen like this this is just a scenario where it did happen and they're both dead so we'll go ahead and show uh the next clip okay so in this clip i am driving up to another apartment building it's kind of got the exact same stairs as the one that we've just shown but it's in a different way out there's also a window that you could use to jump out on the stairs i also do that here and it will really save your life so i i walk into this building knowing that there's a team on the roof and that's about as much info as i have when i walk in the front door i hear one jump off the roof and so i turn around and uh, i use the stairs on them oh no i muted it okay so I use the stairs on this dude. Um, again, you've got so much audio, you can pre-fire so easily and get that kill. Also, this is a big vouch for the Cold War MP5. If you don't use this gun, I do recommend that you use it because it's OP on controller and mouse and keyboard. It's got a little bit of vertical recoil that makes it kind of whack, but once you learn that, it's it's a crazy gun. Um, so I'm playing this dude here. Um, I'm not as much using the lay down technique as I am just holding this corner of the stairs that he knows th this guy down here He knows that I'm here. Um, and so he's not gonna be rushing up So I'm gonna use that to my advantage and not I am laying down here uh, Just in case they do full full sin. I know he is holding that angle um, I peek it. He has stopping power and he uh, and he gets melted the cold room p5 just does that So on the mini map, there's attack river heading my direction right now And so I get healed up and I get ready for that um this is kind of one of those like oh shit moments where you know you peek the corner and there are literally like four dudes in my crosshair hold up let's let's yeah so there's a dude here there's a dude here and a dude behind and then their teammates out in the open field so i catch this guy and he's clearly going to die he's in some jumping animation he's not ready for the gunfight so i'm gonna kill him here it really matters that i get the thirst if you don't get the thirst here you're caught in the limbo and you're probably gonna die to this team because remember there is a team above you um when you're playing situations like this you you have to play for your life and getting that thirst really matters whether that you, you run throwing knives or you just thirst them with your gun um so down him i get the thirst and i try to get out before that sim tech hits um and this is more of an advanced stair fight where this is you're not going to be doing stuff like this as oh, soon yeah. as you see this video, but you could really work your way up to this pretty easily. So I run up and I jump out the window because there's a team on top of me and below me. If I don't get out of there, I'm going to die. So I jump out the window and uh, now I'm at the bottom. I could play resets on them. Right, I can put an air strike on you. So I walk up. The team chased all the way to the roof. Um, now I'm playing the guy on the UAV. There's a guy on the UAV in the uh, parking lot. If he if he comes up these stairs, he's dead. Uh, but that's essentially what I'm trying to show. I do end up getting a few more kills here, but um, that's essentially what I'm trying to show. So that is going to be the ending to the stair video. If you learned anything, let me know in the comments. If you didn't learn anything, let me know in the comments. For the next week's video, I think we're going to do a video on how to fly a helicopter and how to get kills with a helicopter. I know a lot of people don't understand how to fly properly, don't know how to drop for one. I'm going to explain all of that because it is literally free kills off the drop. But until next week, I really do appreciate you guys. Peace.